Uh, oh, hi. Hi, well, uh, welcome back to the No Integrity Diner, where we not only don't have integrity, but we also don't have food that doesn't give you cancer. Here at the No Integrity Diner, we really like change, which is why when I was offered to lose all of my money and my restaurant in a class action lawsuit because apparently our food wasn't fit for human consumption, I accepted. I, I definitely had a choice in that matter. So even though I currently don't have a restaurant, I found plenty of customers who are very, very willing. Shut the fuck up. I found plenty of customers who are very willing to eat my food because I use this little technique I call the silly persuasion, where I put a gun to their head and force them to eat my food. So the standards for what count as actual food change fairly regularly. Like you can't just feed people E. coli bacteria because apparently they can't eat that. That's not actual food. I don't know, really know what they're talking about. I, I did it for like five years straight in the actual restaurant and then they shut me down for that. Stupid. Um, so I have this new recipe that I've been trying out called food uh, that will not only not give you enough food to survive, but it will also choke you to death. Now if you've ever wanted to lose everything and go bankrupt as well, follow me. I'm an expert in this tutorial called A Chef's Guide to Bankruptcy. Uh, follow me. So, first things first in this recipe, you'll want to find some bread. Uh, now, for me, I found this outside of an Applebee's. So, what you're going to do is you're going to want to prepare it the old-fashioned, no-integrity diner way. It's all ready. Now, what's some good food without some cheese? Personally, I'm a big fan of double cheddar, um, and we're gonna grill it because we're gonna because we're gonna do that. So, you put the cheese into the grill, uh, but I like adding a little extra flavor, you know. So I add some fresh silverware on top of it and a glass bowl. But this just it, it adds that spice that this meal is missing because all food needs spice and I'm not talking about all food as in the general idea of food I'm talking about my recipe food I usually put two million Scoville peppers into this um, and I also like putting grilling utensils in there as well all of this just comes together to make something truly spectacular and you're gonna grill it now while you're waiting for your cheese to grill you can have some of our top of the line entertainment. I love this show. But the thing is, is that like, considering I don't have a restaurant anymore and I kind of just have this grill and these trees, uh, our top of the line entertainment is gone. So instead we have a different version of that, which is watching the birds. I love birds. Hey neighbor, I'm still on this random plot land. So why do they not want to help me? Fuck no. Why do you have a gun? No, not the birds. What the fuck? All right. So once your cheese is done melting, which will take about six hours, you gotta take it out of your grill. So. God damn it. So I guess just put your cheese on a plate or something. Now next, what you're gonna wanna do is get some condiments. Uh, luckily I have one bottle of ketchup that I saved from my fridge full of ketchup. And you're gonna wanna prepare it the same way you prepared your bread. It's all ready. Next you'll wanna stir up your ingredients. and then put it back in the grill for five months. Ooh yeah, it's been five months since I put the food in the microwave. Can't you tell I'm excited? But first, we gotta check up on our customers.
so he's dead. Now, so you don't get arrested for multiple felonies. You're gonna wanna summon a demon to take care of the corpse. So you're gonna wanna go back into the shed and... The corpses are multiplied. Now some problems may arise while you start to eat. Uh, like what happens if you start to eat and your hand starts bleeding? Well, you just use it as some extra sauce. That's how it works. And you know, I think I'm about ready to taste our meal. So let's put it together. Oh yeah, looking real good. Now, I have a patented technique called consumption that we're gonna try to eat this. Oh yeah, and that's what I call consumption. That was really, that was real good. I miss my restaurant.